All of my goal prepping is now done. My quarter one goals have been set. Now it's time to map out the month of January. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. Thank you so much for pressing that play button today. And if you find that you like my content, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to check out my future videos as well as some of my playlists. I do have a 2024 goal setting playlist where I went over all of my goal prepping and things like that, that pretty much led up to this point. So if you have not seen those, be sure to check it out. However, I do want to mention I am not a goal setting expert. I am pretty much a novice when it comes to goal setting. Last year, 2023, which I guess this video is probably, I'm hoping to get it up on New Year's Eve. So um, still technically this year, but was kind of my first venture into real goal setting. Before that, I just did New Year's resolutions and that was it. <laughs> I'm never really checked in with them. Um, well, that's not true. I always checked in with them at the end of the year. <laughs> um, so last year was my first year doing goal setting. And this year I decided to take it up a notch and definitely get more into not just monthly goal setting, but also weekly tracking and action plans, um, as well as reflecting. <laughs> that was a big missed opportunity last year um, during my initial goal setting journey where I did do monthly goal setting as I did absolutely zero reflections. And it kind of made it a little bit difficult <laughs> to reflect on the year because I do forget a lot of things that happened earlier in the year. So that is one of my priorities this year. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so I have a lot of things on my desk. This is my goal setting stuff, but then I have my other planners here as well because I do need to refer to them when I'm making my goals, especially for the month, as well as my weekly action plans because I need to know what is going on that week. So that way I am setting goals or action steps that I do have the opportunity to complete because sometimes life is like packed full for the week. So um, I need to be aware of any type of scheduling any type of things going on with my schedule. All right, let me move these aside because I don't think I need them right now. So I went ahead, beans, I'm ready to move in and popped on my Live Love Posh Luxe cover. I absolutely love it. Still have not put in my name page because I'm not sure that I like this particular name page. Trying to figure it out, but I did put in like a wrong, wrong journaling card of Egypt because that is some place that I am going to this year. I also put in a couple of journaling cards. This one says, I am ready and capable of achieving all of my goals. I thought that was appropriate, so I did that. I am an affiliate for Live Love Posh. I will have a discount code down in my description box. All right, so now it's time to flip to quarter one. So I'm going to take out my quarter one goals. Now I did a video recently where I did my quarter one goals. I also set up my routines. Here's my routines. And during that, I mentioned another thing that I was going to do was set up my ideal schedule. For some reason, I had a whole week's worth of my ideal schedule. And I'm like, I don't think I need that. Realistically, I only needed three columns for a weekday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and the reason why there's a Saturday and a Sunday is for the fact that I do meal prep on Sundays and I did want to put that on as well as weekly reset and planning. That is something that I wanna do on Sundays that is not always reflective on Saturdays. Errands is my general placeholder <laughs> for things that I need to do. And then of course I have my ideal schedule for my weekdays as far as my work hours and then things that I want to do. Um, and then I did kind of pencil in AM routines and things like that and PM routines, which again, I had mapped out here. So that way I can remember until they become habits, I can remember everything that I need to do. So this is something that I am going to be checking in frequently until again, they become habits. All right. So now we are going to move into January. So I don't know if I'm going to keep a monthly calendar in each month because at first I was like, oh, I can put down anything that I schedule that's goal related. I think I'm definitely going to do it this month because I've already dated it. So I definitely want to use it. 
but I don't know that I'm going to have it in here for future months. We'll see if it's actually helpful um, or not. And the reason why I say that is because I do have the weekly pages in here. So I would rather just save these monthly pages because they're undated for any other purpose. I mean, I can use them for any particular layout at all um, because it is an undated planner. All right. So we have, so what I did was I did tape the back. <laughs> um, let me see if I can pull is it this one. Okay. So here is what the planner looks like. And on the back of the calendar page, there is the set goals for this month. I didn't need this particular page. Um, Although that the reason why I'm thinking about possibly not using the calendar, because if I don't get use out of it, this would be a pretty useful thing to put in another planner where I want to set goals for that particular planning type, which I am doing something similar in my fitness and wellness planner this year. But next year, if I don't want to go that route, I can always use these as my inserts. So you kind of see why I'm like, you can pull bits and pieces from a particular planner this year and then use the other pieces next year so that's kind of what I'm thinking of so what I did is I did tape it and I put on the back of this monthly journal page and this said this week's big goals well I wanted to say this month's big goals write a positive quote to follow this says this week I whited it out important due dates this week I just said important due dates <laughs> um, so I whited out everything that said this week this one actually said last week but I just write writes about some milestones and I think it's going to be about the future month because this is a new planner I don't want to reflect on December and this particular planner because it's new, right? It's a 2024. I don't want to reflect on 2023. I did enough reflecting already. Um, and then you can see the list three things that can help you achieve your goals, list three things that inspire you. So we might do some of that. Okay, these two pages. Um, I went ahead and I made all of these boxes myself. I did size them down. I will try to write in the comments what size they are because I completely forgot. But I got all of these images off of Canva. It is, I made these for all of my goal categories. I think they turned out super duper cute and I have enough printed for the rest of the quarter. You can see I've already put it down for February. I did not put it down for March because I think February and March is gonna be merged together just because of my very short month of March. Um, <laughs> we'll get into that in February. But let's get started because I don't wanna keep y'all here all day. I just cannot stop talking, right? Um, Let's put some stickers on here. I'm gonna do these. I just had these set aside. So um, I will be an affiliate for Martinez Sticker Company um, beginning in January. So um, once it is official and I have, and I know that my affiliate link is live, I will update the description with that information. But as you can see, I printed these myself. She has a lot of printable sticker options, guys. And the advantage to printable stickers is you can just keep printing them and printing them and printing them and printing them. As you can see, I just didn't want one page of snowflakes, so I did two pages of snowflakes. Um, so it is a good option. Of course, you have to have a printer. Um, you don't have to have a cut machine. I have a cut machine, so it makes things a little bit easier, but you can always kiss cut them um, with scissors. So um, yeah, the, uh, the possibilities are endless, but I'm not going to put a lot of stickers here. I'm just trying to cover up some stuff and I might want to put some stuff here. I don't know yet because I don't like how it says one through five here. These don't bother me. These are like little task lists. But I don't like the one through five. All right, guys, I think I've did enough decorating, but look how cute that looks. Now, I think they would have looked better if I printed them on clear sticker paper, but I only have like thick vinyl. 
clear and I don't love it. So if you guys print your own stickers and you have any, you know, you know, if you use any good thin, <laughs> clear, short, transparent sticker paper, let me know what you use and where you get it from because I am on the hunt for some good clear sticker paper. Like I said, the vinyl kind is good for like die cuts and things like that. Like you can put it on water bottles. I don't do that. I just put it on <laughs> um, paper. So I don't need to be that thick. All right. So I think we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So when it comes to personal, where are, where did I do with my, here it is. <laughs> All right. I want to just set these up and <laughs> hope they don't fall down so I can kind of see them. Now, these are probably not going to be crazy different from my quarter one goals, but we'll see. So personal, the one thing I did not write on my personal was reading because I had mentioned that that was kind of part of my routine, but I am going to read that. I'm, I'm going to read that here. I'm going to put that here under personal. Um, I'm putting it under personal because I do feel like it helps me mentally. <laughs> it helps me de-stress. It helps me do a lot of stuff. So I could also put that under work and learning, although a lot of the books that I read are more like fantasy, <laughs> so not really learning, but maybe when I do um, like motivational type books, I'll put that under a different category. All right, so my goal is to read 26 books. So that means that I need to read two books this month. I mean, I put in parentheses complete because it actually means finish. <laughs> finish reading two books this month because that's what I count. I count when I finish them. All right. So my second one, I need to, okay, I need to become consistent with my daily routines. I'm not even working on this month turning in them into habits. I'm just trying to get consistent with them. I will eventually try to turn them into habits, and that will be probably a future month's goal. And when I say daily routines, you guys saw all of my routines um, previously, and that one goal is going to capture a lot of this stuff, and I'm even going to even incorporate these. All right, and then my final one this month, I love that there's only three spaces, guys. Oh my gosh, I love that it's only three spaces. It is making me so much less stressed. <laughs> All right, so my big one is I need to make the most of my idle time. I love my idle time. I went into this in pretty big detail when I did my quarter one goals because one of my big goals was to be mindful of my idle time. So now I want to make the most of my idle time, which means when I have idle time, some of my goals are fun, y'all. Like some of them, like I really want to get into hand lettering. That is fun. Why can't I do that when I'm idle? I don't have to just sit and watch TV and eat chips on my couch. I can hand letter while I do that too, right? <laughs> so yeah. All right. <laughs> fun and adventure. This one um, is kind of hard for me to figure out what to do right now because it's January and it's going to be cold. So what I need to do is I need to make plans for future events. And when I say future events, that means anytime in 2024. It could be January. It could be March. It could be the summer. I just need to go ahead and make those plans. And I mentioned that also in my quarter one is because... A lot of these things I'm probably going to want to do with other people and I need to be aware that they're going to have scheduling issues and they're going to also have to schedule them in advance. So if I want to do these things and I don't necessarily want to do them alone, I could do a lot of them alone. But the ones that I really do want to kind of do with someone else, I need to make sure to plan it early so it can get on their calendars and therefore I'm more likely to get to go, right? Um, so that's what I really need to work on. I do not do that very well. I will, you know, plan for a vacation, which is going to be another one. But I will do that. But I won't plan for those random small events. I do also need to um, 2024 travels. So I have just booked or I recently booked no longer just booked. Um, I booked it earlier in December. My really big trip for 2024. Um, I'm going to Egypt. But I also would like to do some other traveling. And that doesn't necessarily even mean getting on a plane. But I need to start mapping it out because my trip is in <laughs> March. Um, I would like to do something else. because. Um, and then the other one 
is one new activity and adventure and that's for January. So I'm mapping out my future events. I'm mapping out my 2024 travel, but I would also like to do something in January. Um, yes, it's cold. Yes, there, but there are some indoor events. Um, um, Social. This is also going to sound like fun and adventure, especially for the winter months. Um, but for social, I need to put coordinate two social outings. Um, that was something that I used to put down with family and friends, but I'm putting it up here because I don't want to put pressure on myself as, I mean, pressure on myself, that's not pressure. I don't want to limit myself, um, to anything. And I kind of want this to be in addition to this. So like, if I want to go somewhere by myself, whatever, I can coordinate it with myself, <laughs> but I'm just saying, basically I need to get out of the house at least twice. With that said, I also need to get out of the house I always use the greater than, less than sign. So when you're looking at my pages, that's what it usually is. <laughs> so I don't say more than, I just use the greater than sign. <laughs> um, I need to get out of the house at, at least, if not more, one time each week. And I don't know if I wanna count the grocery store. So I don't think I'm gonna count the grocery store for that because I do go to the grocery store at least once a week, every week, if not twice. I don't wanna count that. I can count going to like Target um, because a lot of the things that I would get at Target or TJ Maxx, I can just order on Amazon or order on Target.com. So I feel like there is a little bit more initiative or a little bit more motivation that requires going to those types of stores than going to the grocery store. So um, yeah, that's why I'm not gonna count the grocery store there. Um, and then the third one, I think I need to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just bite the bullet and sign up for a dating app. Whether it's free or costs money, I don't know. I haven't done any research on that, but I need to because I am I am filming this on Friday. This is going to go up on Sunday. The 31st is when it's going to go up. And I haven't really researched, but I'm assuming there's probably going to be tons of sales <laughs> for that kind of stuff. Okay, friends and family. Okay, so I want to, I don't know how to word this. So my parents come over my house pretty much every weekend and we hang out and we, but I want to do something with them. I would rather do something other than just go out to eat. But like I said, I don't know that I'm going to be super particular with it in the winter months because there's not much to do. So I'll just say do something with the folks. <laughs> I'm laughing because I put in the word fun. Because I was like, do something with my parents. It sounds like I'm going to be like, do something with my parents. Yeah, I need to like put them in a home or something. No, 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 that's not what I meant. I mean, I need to do something fun. I need to do some type of activity with my parents. <laughs> words matter, right? Certain words, you leave them out. It can take on a whole different meaning, right? All right, so I need to reach out. Text. And when I put out reach out and text friends and family, that's going to be the ones that I don't necessarily always reach out and text to. Those are going to be those that I, like, I kind of forget because you think you have <laughs> seen them because you've seen them on social media so much. Um, and then I need to schedule a friend outing. This might catch up with this. Um, like I might be able to check it off, check it off, just like this, but I kind of don't really want to. I mean, if this is the case, oh my gosh, that's like four events. I can do it, y'all. I'm not even trying to be like fancy with the outings. <laughs> All right, financial. So I need to do, oh my gosh, this was consistently on my goals for last year. So I do have a Roth IRA account, but I have not made any investments in that account. So I've not purchased any stock yet. All right, so obviously this is going to probably be a consistent one every single month track spending and then this last one i do need to look at my budget or maybe look at finances i need to set up savings plan so i do have a general savings plan where i deposit like 
kind of a small amount <laughs> per paycheck into a savings account, but it doesn't really, I don't have it for a specific purpose. All right, so I need to keep on with the decluttering because I don't know why, but it seems like the winter is the time to do it. Um, I guess because we're forced to stay in our house. And then this will be an easy action plan because each week I will just set something new to declutter, like a new area to declutter. What I need to do now is, <laughs> so I need to start winter deep clean. What was my prep and schedule spring maintenance. I need to okay. prep for spring. Yes, we just started winter, but I need to prep for spring because it is a process. And then that means projects, um, maintenance. I'll just write schedule because it is schedule maintenance. Okay. Work and learning. All right, this one... So for work and learning, a lot of people do that specifically for like work type stuff. And then if you're into social media and the social media is incorporated in that, I have also included my foreign language in this because I feel like that's part of learning more than personal development. I don't know. I could go either way, but I have a lot of personal stuff to work on. So I'm throwing that here. And what I want to do is I try to work on this last year and I was really horrible about doing it. So I need to explore new ways to learn Spanish. I need to be consistent with Duolingo. So that is also with Spanish. I'll show you what I did. I've already done this. So <laughs> here is, again, this is my goal planner, but I also have my finance section in here and then I get it done section. Look at my get it done section, y'all. I printed this little divider. You can see that it was a small one because it's blurry now that I printed it. I just found this image and printed it out. Espanol. And look what I've done, y'all. So in my health and wellness planner, I am using the monthly layout for goal tracking and stuff. So now I have all these pages. So I have a February page. I mean, a January page and a February page. I'm thinking about choosing a word or a phrase and like focusing on that word or phrase a day. So I don't know, we're, we're torn around with it. If you guys have any ideas of something simple like that, let me know. And I say simple because I need to be simple, y'all. I got to be simple. Um, but yeah, so I've already started this. This would have been like a week one action plan, but I've already done it, darn it. <laughs> but that is kind of my idea about expanding it. Like one of my other ones, which I wanted to do last year was watch a Sp Spanish language TV show. But I think I want to learn a little bit more before I dive into that. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, right? Um, and then uh, this is where it gets a little tough. So I have a lot, like I have research training opportunities, continue learning Spanish, work on balancing my schedule or my main quarter one goals. Um, but I do need to kind of work on a content schedule as far as filming and stuff like that. Okay, that works. I like that. That was a good one. Mental health. Whew. <laughs> All right. So the big thing of this month is I do need to, I want to schedule a self-care activity, which could be a massage or a massage. <laughs> um, something that kind of helps me relax and things like that. So I don't know. Right now, obviously, it sounds like a massage, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, so I think that is like that, but I don't want to put a number on it. Um, because a lot of that's going to require finances and things like that. So we're just not going to put a number on that. All right. Um, the other thing I want to do incorporate journaling. So I want to incorporate journaling into my daily routine. Um, that was something I really wanted to do last year and I would get on kicks and do it really well. This year I'm going to try my best to do guided journaling again um, as well as other types of journaling. I hope, 
I can stick with it because I really think I need to do it. Um, especially because the one thing that I put on my focus of the year when it comes to mental health was positivity and optimism. And I think it's the journaling that's going to get me there. Um, yeah. And then the other thing I want to do is begin to practice meditation. Physical health. Um, I'm just going to put reminders on here. If you guys have caught or have not already caught, I did set up. I'm so bad about putting my name in this thing. Um, and I have stickers. But I have already set up my goals for my fitness and wellness. Here it is. I love this layout because I can get, I, look how look how stickery I got. You know I love my stickers. Um, I do have a plan with me video on this or a goal setup video on this. Um, I will link it down below. But basically what I'm going to do is that these three right here, those are my top priorities. I am putting them here because I think they are important enough to put in two places. So I'm just going to copy them and it's establish a consistent workout schedule or routine either way, meal plan and prep and take all suggested vitamins and supplements. As you can see, I have tons of goals. This is my nutrition. This is my exercise. This is my vitamins. Those are pretty much my three categories, which is how I did it. So um, that's what I'm going to write here. Okay. Now this can pretty much kind of go to the side, but there we go, y'all. That, that is my January goals. Now, we're not done, right? So I'm not obviously going to focus on that. But the one thing I think, this is the month's big goals. The one thing I want to focus on this time. Okay. This is my big goal for the month is making the most out of my idle time. This goes really, this goes hand in hand with my word of the year, which is now. Because I feel like I do, like I always put off a lot of stuff, but there's no reason because I have a lot of idle time and it doesn't always seem like it. I do work. I work full time. Um, when I telework, I typically get off work around four. Um, however, that could fluctuate and that may likely fluctuate in January and February just because of those are, um, I don't want to say busy times of the year because it's not like super busy. Um, right now it could be in the feet like next year or 2025 it could be but this year it's not going to be as busy but we have action activities and things to take care of that could require a longer day where I would start later and end later um but that's beside the point my point is if I get off work at four then I have between four to five thirty because I usually eat around five thirty four to five thirty is my idle time and then after I eat, it's just me. So my dinner time is really short. Um, so let's say from six until bedtime, I have another two hours of idle time. Well, yeah, it's nice to like lay around and not do anything, but can I do other things? Like I said, can I let hand letter while I'm doing that? So that's kind of what I mean. Like I don't have to do strenuous activities. I don't have to always throw in a workout. Um, I am going to throw in a workout, but I can, I need to think about how to kind of still relax and maybe do some other things that I really want to do. Um, I need to find a positive quote to follow. I don't know that I have any important due dates this month. I'm not going to do any of that. <laughs> we'll do that later. Um, <laughs> all right, weekly action steps. So we're going to take these out. Whew. It's getting hot in here. All right. Weekly focus. So this is the first week of January. I am going to now look what I got, y'all. I got a Notique cover for my catch-all planner. <laughs> I did put some more journaling cards. It was a Christmas present to myself. I consider it an investment. You'll be seeing this planner cover for several years because <laughs> it was an investment. But I love it because I wanted a cover to cover my Go Getter Girl planner. And because it's like this you know, the thick coils. I needed something bigger. All right, y'all. I don't have any, I haven't even filled this out. I have a chiropractor appointment, a blue apron delivery. I'm off work on the first. I might take another day. I don't know yet, but yeah, I don't have anything really going on, but here's my plan. 
is each week I am going to pull out my catch-all planner, see what is on this, the calendar. I have a feeling that actually the week of the 7th or the week of the 8th, because I do do a Sunday start here, but the week of the 8th is probably also going to be a little hit or miss with not as much pre-planning. Um, but then the following week, it's going to probably get into a groove because everybody's like coming back from vacation. So things just aren't scheduled. And when I say aren't scheduled, I mean more with work, but even like personal, like scheduling dinners and stuff like that, people are still like, it's weird, but like you get like a day off work and all of us or a week off work. And all of a sudden, like you, it takes a while to get back into a routine and you know, a whole bunch of people took the whole holidays off. So yeah. All right, so now we're going to look at, did I put, wait, hold on, where's my goals? Where's my goals? All right, so now I need to pop these bad boys up, or let's just set them here. We'll just set them here. All right, so personal is purple. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. So that way I'm not wasting time like finding the highlighter and all the other stuff. All right, there we go. And yes, I do not have physical health on here because I am tracking all of that in my actual fitness and wellness planner. So I'm not skipping on it, but it's just, it's such a huge priority of mine that I need to force myself to be in that planner. Um, and I just feel like that is a better fit for a lot of those particular goals. So on this particular planner, I am focusing on everything else. I think there might be enough space because there's at least four blocks or four dots in between each one. And I think that is more than enough, don't you? Um, Because I really, I don't, I want to have, you know, I don't want to have, I want to have three to four. Um, So I think that's fine. So personal development, read two books. I need to finish two books within the month. So this is hard. I'm going to just say I want to read 30 minutes daily. We'll see where that gets me. I haven't even picked the book that I'm going to start yet, but we're going to see where that gets me. <laughs> We are going to see where that gets me. Um, I am going to... And remember, these are action steps. So it's all it's not always something... It's just going to get me to my January goals. That's kind of where I'm going. So like the three, three, read 30 minutes a daily is going to get me to be able to at least complete a book within a two-week time span. Maybe similar, like maybe shorter, but I should be able to do that no problem. I should be able to read about an hour. Um, but we're just going to start with 30 minutes. Um, and I put daily. So let me underline that because I want to get back into that. Um, I want to add my activities to I don't know what to call it. So basically, this is what I want to do. Look, so what I'm going to do <laughs> is each day I'm going to have like a focus area. It might be the same thing each day. I don't know why. But here I am going to write down what I did. So <clears throat> I will write here, woke up five o'clock, did Duolingo at 6.30 to 7. I don't know. I'm just kind of giving a hypothetical here. 7 a.m. That is when I did morning wake up routine. So like, or morning get ready routine, which my get ready routine isn't necessarily this. Um, yeah, actually it is. So like most of this stuff, maybe I'll write here AM routine. Um, eight o'clock, I'll have like start work 12, whatever time I worked out. So this isn't me planning. This is me tracking because what I want to do is at the end of this week, I'm going to look and I'm going to see how I spent my idle time. How much idle time did I use? what goals can or what things can I fit into my schedule. So I have a planner, my catch-all planner, where I plan things. This is going to be how I track my day. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this. If I'm really bad at managing my time, I might be doing this for months. I don't know. So this might not become a permanent part of my goal planning. 
But for me, it is essential because like I said, I have way too much idle time on my hands sometimes. And I'm talking about the short idle times where I could be multitasking and doing something fun and productive. All right, so add activities to my weekly... That does not sound right, but I just explained what it is. <laughs> my weekly calendar to track idle time management. <laughs> I'm glad I have gave myself extra spaces there, man. <laughs> Cause I just, I just don't know. Sometimes I just don't know how to put in things into words about what I want to do. I mean, I know I am not the only one. Okay. All right. And then become consistent with my daily routines. So let's do this. We're just going to do that. I'm not going to do the daily routines. I feel like that's going to be part of this. So I did check in with my planners daily. I have become kind of bad with that. But I don't know if it's just like the end of year funk that we all get into because we're kind of over our current planners and we just want to move into our new ones. Um, so it might be that. We'll see. That might be an easy one then. Okay. Fun and adventure. I need to do research on 2024 local events. Yes, I do. All right, I need to research possible trips. And I need to look at January local events calendar. And when I say look at the local events calendar, that should be super easy with Facebook. And a lot of my friends, they always say like they're interested in certain events. So that can help me figure out what events are going on <laughs> as well, right? <laughs> Told you, man, Facebook is just <laughs> has so much information. And you would never know that I'm on there because I don't post anything. All right. Social. All right, so I need to coordinate. So I need to coordinate one outing. Notice I. Oh no! Wait a minute. Oh, I skipped it. Okay, so I am all over the place. Um, let's wipe this out because I don't think this is. I'm all over the place. <sighs> I'm not in a row here. I went over instead of down, and it's it threw me off. <laughs> all right, so here. They're probably like, why are you trying to make little dots? I don't know, because I can't put stickers on here, and I think it's cute. <laughs> All right, so this one, I need to coordinate one outing. This is not go on one outing. This is coordinate one outing, because I might not be able to. Like, if I want to coordinate something, I might not need to do. Okay, this one, I'm going to be able to, I, my goal is to check off my January goal this week for the sign up for the dating app. And then there we go. <laughs> Get out of the house at least once. Grocery store does not count. For some reason, I am skipping on the letters today. There's certain letters I'm just forgetting. All right, friends and family. I need to see. I need to see, this is gets back to the looking at the January local events. I need to see if there's anything that might be fun to do with my parents. They eat out a lot, so I really don't want to consider eating out as something because I want them to have fun too. I want them to start doing more. They don't do enough. They would say they do enough. <laughs> I don't want them to do out. Okay, so this one, I need to text two friends. Yes, I said two. And I need to schedule... And outing again schedule I really do want to go out that week um because I know some people are still off so I might actually go out that week what is that okay financial now we're back to my financial all right so I need to track weekly I'm writing track weekly spending because realistically I don't need to write down I don't need to visit my budget planner each day and write down how much I spent that day. I can just go back. I spent everything. I use my plastic for everything. I don't use cash. I rarely use cash. Basically just for like tipping is the only time I use cash. 
So I can go back at the end of the week and write all of that in. I need to do Roth IRA research, possibly even invest, but we'll just start there. And then set up auto transfer from checking to savings. A lot of these finance goals might be able to be checked off this week. And I might be setting up completely new action plans. I might be setting up goals as action plans for the next month. Because I was sitting there thinking about these are things that I definitely need to do. Or if I don't do them, I might just move them off. So we'll see. Because I don't really think it's going to take my, like, after I research it, why can't I just go ahead and set up the transfer? Like, I don't need to research it this week and set up the transfer next week. You know what I'm saying? Like, the first step is to, like, research. Do I need to open up another savings account? Is an existing savings account adequate? <sighs> go ahead and do that. But that takes, what, a moment? <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you just set up the transfer. If I don't accomplish this, like I said, it'll just be moved to next week. So next week, I will pull this out um, and look at it when we go into it. All right, I said we were going to work on decluttering a certain area of the house. So this time I'm gonna work on decluttering living room. And the reason why this is the room is because I plan on taking down my Christmas decorations or at least my in-house living decorations. I'm not sure. I kind of take down my outdoor Christmas decorations based on the weather. I just won't have the lights going but so long um so they might be out there but on um I mean not on but I'll do that later but I want to take down my Christmas tree and my other decorations that's a good time to kind of think about decluttering so that's why that is so I guess I can start deep cleaning the living room maybe I do need to look at taking an extra day off of work <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, this is a lot so living room deep clean and then this week I need to create a list of house projects we'll do that this week okay work and learning work and learning um so for work and learning, obviously Duolingo and all that stuff is part of it. I don't think I'm going to put Duolingo in here because I feel like it's just going to be part of my daily one. So um, even though it's a consistent with Duolingo or maybe I should, maybe I should, maybe I should. So we're going to say complete one Duolingo less than a day i always say this is what i did last year and i was pretty good at it until i completely stopped using duolingo altogether um but that could be anywhere from it takes me two minutes to complete a lesson to it takes me a lot because i ended up like losing hearts and sometimes i complete multiple lessons but i do want to complete at least one so we're gonna do this all right so i want to Choose a Spanish word slash phrase of the day to use. I don't know what that means, but we'll figure out what that means. But like I said, I have that section in my planner now. But <laughs> play around with YouTube schedule. That isn't necessarily the begin um, to work on setting a filming schedule. That is, I need to see what time to release my content. I've already changed it once. So I went from like 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't tell me where that came from to midnight Eastern Standard Time. But I might do like a midday type release. We'll see. Um, so don't be surprised if the time that my content comes out has changed. I, at first, I liked doing it like overnight because I figured, oh, when people wake up in the morning, they can just like, while well, like me, I watch YouTube when I'm in bed like waiting to get up and waiting to start my day. That's when I watch my YouTube. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. 
And then I need to create. Okay. And then for mental wellness, this is easy. Journal every day. We are not giving myself any time off. Last year, I was like, oh, journal five times a day. That is not happening this year. I'm going to say every day. Every day. That's the one I'm always like, oh, be conservative with your goals. I need to do that. It's almost just like my health and wellness goals. My fitness and wellness goals is like a lot of that is stuff that I have to do. So I have to be a little bit more harder on myself when it comes to those goals. Um, so I need to schedule a massage. And now this one. Hmm. Right now I'm going to say meditate. I'm going to come back to that one in a minute. And I'm going to say digital detox 30 minutes a day. What was my... I know I wanted to digital detox. Where was that at? Oh, I just put digital detox. I didn't do how much. Um, that seems like a lot, but I should be able to do it. Oh my gosh, I'm reading. Shouldn't that count? Um, even though it's on a Kindle, to me it still counts. And then I need to meditate three days a week. This I am lowering to like, so I can kind of meet it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to meet that goal. Um, and I'm just not sure like how hard it is going to be to start doing it. I think it's one of those things that once I do it and I learn how to do it, because meditating is something you have to learn how to do. It is not easy. It sounds like it's easy. It seems like it's easy, but I mean, heck, I can't even get started. So I can't really even talk to how hard or easy it is. It's just hard for me to get started. But um, I think once, like everybody, swear, everybody does it, swears by it and says it's great. So I think once I figure out how to do it, once I figure out how to shut my mind off, it's probably going to be something that I want to do daily. And then I'll start setting times, like meditate five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, three minutes a day, you know, whatever. I'll probably amp myself up. All right, guys. So that's it. I'm not going to put these on disc because it's so many that I did today. So that is like kind of my process. Um, I did my January goals. There we go. And I did my week one action steps. So there we go. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know that I'm going to do a video every week for my action steps. What I might do is pop back in for week three and then we'll do a review of week two. Um, and then I might do a quick review of week one. Although if you see something on week two that was the same as week one, then it probably means it didn't go so well in week one. But um, we'll see. Um, maybe I'll start doing these weekly. I'm not positive. You know, I'm not positive. This is my first time kind of focusing on goals on a weekly basis. So we'll have to see, guys. Let me know what you guys would prefer. Um, like I said, also is going to determine about my video schedule. So we'll see. Um, all right, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this maybe have given you some ideas for just ways to set goals. Um, like I said, I am no expert. I am doing this all kind of, I guess, kind of almost off the cuff. Although I've done some research. I've watched some YouTube videos. So I'm trying to take in bits and pieces that I've learned from goal planning systems as well as some other YouTubers to kind of see some things that I think would work well. And this is the route I think I'm going to take. It seems I don't know. Right now, I'm pretty optimistic. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, if you are setting goals for January right now, good luck to you. Um, we can do this, right? We can all do this. Um, we are going to probably have road bumps along the way, but hey, that just makes us stronger. And those are learning points, right? <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for pressing that play button today. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well. I would really, really appreciate it. All right. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. Bye.